Today we're going to talk about masonry plans. And these are the construction drawings that masons would use on a job site to actually lay their block and brick and tell them how different components are put together. We're mostly going to focus in the residential area, but I'll show you a couple examples for some commercial. Most of the time when masons arrive on a job site, they're working at the very bottom of a house. And we call that the foundation. This is the actual part of masonry and it will attach to the ground and it supports all the weight from all the structural that the uh, carpenter or the framer will build above that for most things on a, on a house. If you look at this plan here, it's got basically it looks a lot like a floor plan, but on, on the outside, you've got these slash marks and these symbols are showing us the concrete block that the mason is going to put in place. And it basically mirrors a floor plan. If you look in a couple of places, you'll see little symbols here that look a lot similar to what we saw on our floor plan of a double hung window, but they're actually vents that are be placed into the actual foundation wall to allow some airflow underneath the house. Point of interest right out here in the middle, there's a little square here and it says 16 by 16 concrete pier. And what this is, is a stack of concrete blocks side by side, and it builds a pier out in the middle of this open space, because this entire area is open, that supports these boards right here. That's what they are. They're three boards nailed together. We call that a girder. And this is what the uh, carpenter would, first thing he would build in. But this, he has to have piers out here to support it because the span from the right side to the left side is way greater than what these boards can hold. So he has to add some support. So these are the kind of things that the mason's looking for. He's looking at the outer perimeter, the location of his piers, his location of vents, um, and things such as that to get ready to build, uh, to build the foundation for a home. Now, this is what it looks like in the real world. All along the bottom, you can kind of see here, it's been cleaned up and they fill back filled with some dirt. But along these bottom edges, you can see a little bit of the concrete footer that was poured. And then the mason starts laying his courses of block all the way on top of that footer, all the way up. And he just follows basically the outline. And then there's going to be, uh, in this particular one, I can look at the style of block along this edge. Um, there's, uh, some of this is going to be concrete and some of this is going to be wood poured back poured. This little open area right here looks like it's going to be a front porch. It's got some ties that are going to allow to come back and put dirt in this area and then come back and pour a concrete slab over this entire area. And this will more than likely be the, uh, the a recessed front stoop going into the house. Now, another type of plan that a mason works with a lot, it's called an elevation drawing. And it's just like that. As you're looking at the elevation from the outside of a building, sometimes there's inside ones, um, but mostly from the outside of a building, you're seeing how the outside components kind of relate to each other. It's just like standing in the yard of your house and turning around and looking back at your house. And you would see the door, the window, the roof, the trim, those kind of things, any lights or anything like that. Shows you the details from there. This is a real simple plan here of a smokehouse. It's a masonry built building. And it's really focusing on a few areas to show how they relate to each other. And this shows how the, the, the uh, lintel, which is, goes over any opening, as we have here on the side where the fire pit is and over the door, and showing something about the, how the roof structure is going and how the vents are focus, focused in here in, in this um, smokehouse. Real simple drawing. Um, here's another type. It's a little more consistent. And it gets, starts getting into the details of how things go. This is the side view of how a window would be constructed on the outside of a, of a brick building. And these little lines here are showing you spaces to allow the wood to come in and frame to allow a rough open for masonry. Because when you build things out of masonry, you have to go and support them. Like here at the top of the door and window, there's a door and window. There's another lintel here that helps support this opening. In wood and carp in the carpentry, we use wood. We call it headers. In masonry, we use concrete, sometimes steel, and we call it a lintel. So down here at the bottom is definitely a, a much more exploded detail drawing. It starts with the concrete foundation that's underneath it's actually a solid slab and these this is the start of the exterior wall these are concrete blocks that are laid on top of each other and this on the outside here or this is a brick veneer wall it's made out of what's face brick and if you notice there's actually a little air space in here that all between it uh, the air acts as insulation but in order to keep this brick veneer wall it's only attached at the ground and if it was only attached to the ground, you could easily come and pull it over. It actually has what's here, a little metal wall ties. And the wall tie is literally a piece of metal. It's sandwiched between the joint here in the block. And it comes over and catches a joint in the brick. And you, you and it's, this is showing you how far it looks like it's five or six bricks that you space a wall tie. This is a very specific type of detail drawing. And I'm going to highlight a few more that Mason's see. 
This is more of a cartoon type detail drawing for a landscape uh, that a mason would have to be putting together for landscaping. This grass here on the on the right side is higher than the grass on the left side. So any rain is gonna be flowing from right to left. So this is a concrete block retaining wall designed to catch moisture and rain flow. Uh, this type of fixture right here, we call this a French drain. The water comes in, hits the brick wall, soaks down in the ground, gets caught in this aggregate and runs out this drain pipe right here. What the mason's gonna be paying attention to is he's got a concrete footer at the bottom. It's got a reinforcing rod or rebar in it. Then he starts showing his courses of block he has to lay three courses and then his fourth course is actually made of cat block it shows how they all relate together it shows that he has a rebar in it with concrete backfill it actually even actually has some extra wheat rod in here uh, to allow some of the extra mortar moisture just to pass on through the majority of it's going to be caught by the french drain but a little bit of it's going to be allowed to pass on through and go down the hill this is a cartoon type of detail drawing this one's, one's here, it's more commercial. And you can see here, this main part here is where an actual suspended floor in a commercial building. This outside part is the uh, outside of the wall here. And it shows the different types of block and how they relate. Here, you have a support piece. It's got a piece of U-block with concrete backfill and horizontal uh, rebar on the U-block. Every so often on the regular, concrete, uh, regular standard block, you've got a um, reinforcing wire that runs horizontally through. You also have more rebar that runs vertically that's all backfilled and you can see the little shading here that shows that it's backfilled there's no dimensions on this stuff to show you the exact placement what this is designed to do is to give you the general concept of how all these pieces are going to fit together with the block and the floor and the poured concrete and the reinforcement this is a commercial type of detail drawing here's a residential type detail drawing uh, this one starts again with the uh, footer runs up to a monolithic slab uh, there's no wood for the floor system here. That becomes the floor. Uh, this wiggly lines right here are insulation in a wall. This outside piece again here. Now we get into our symbols. You see that this symbol here is for a face brick. And this is a brick veneer wall. And again, we have a little bitty airspace and we have wall ties tying it together. We also have some grout fill. And the grout is really more like just a really loose liquid concrete that fills in this gap. And that's designed to keep any moisture from coming through from the outside, going into the wall, or any, also any bugs. So more of our uh, symbols here. If you notice our three little hashes, this is earth, also known as dirt, the dirt we walk on outside. Over here on the right side, we see some small little circles all crashed together. This is some, some loose stone fill. And then there's a couple more symbols in here. It shows where some insulation and some vapor barrier, uh, which most of the time in masonry work is just a piece of plastic. Um, so that ties in a few more symbols and that ties in. This here is a detailed drawing for a residential. And that is an introduction to masonry plans. They mostly work with foundations and most all of their work touches, touches the ground. So they use a lot of things that look like floor plans and lots of detailed drawings, masonry plans.